Hello techies, welcome to Microsoft Power Automate desktop tutorials. In the previous session, we have learned how to work with Excel automation actions such as launch Excel, read from Excel worksheet and how to close Excel. Right, in this chapter, we will learn how to write the data to Excel by using write to Excel worksheet action. All right, let me switch to Power Automate Desktop. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new flow as part of chapter two. And I'm going to give the name as Excel Automation Chapter Two. And then I'm going to click on Create. The main agenda of this session is we want to know how to write the data to the Excel by using Write to Excel Worksheet Action. First of all, to work with that one, that what we have to do, we need to launch an Excel first as a first step because of we are going to work with the Excel actions. Where we'll find the Excel actions? Under the actions, we'll find Excel actions over here as a group. And then under that, you will find lot of actions. Let me expand that. Over here, you can see right to Excel worksheet which will write a value into the particular cell or range of the cells of an Excel instance. So before going to work with this, before we have to start or launch an Excel. So what is the action that we'll use? Launch Excel. Let me drag and drop onto the workspace. And then over here, I will give you some more parameters which we have not covered as part of the previous session. That is, if you see that is launch Excel. If you see over here that we are having two options over here. One is with a blank document or and open the following document. In the previous session, we have seen and open the following document. When we select this one, what will happen? It will lose the document path. Right now, I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use with a blank document. The reason is that I want to write the data into the blank document. All right, so I have selected with the blank document and you can see variables produced that is Excel instance because of this instance I'm going to use in the next actions which I'm going to use as part of the different actions in the same flow. All right, now let me go ahead, let me save this. But before this one, if you see, I'm not going to select any path then where it will be storing the document and what is the naming convention which we'll get for the Excel. It will create in documents folder in, in your local, it will create under the document with the name of book1.xlsx file. Now I'm going to click on save. At the first step, we have done our launch Excel. Now I want to write the data, right? I have launched an Excel. It is going to be storing the data or it is going to write the data in the book one. All right. So I want to write the data as a second step. So by using write to Excel worksheet that I can finish my second step. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. And there you will find a lot of parameters for the write to Excel worksheet. The first one is the Excel instance. The Excel instance already we are having the Excel instance which you have created as part of launch Excel. That is the same Excel instance I'm going to use it. Now, if you see what is the value I have to write it over here. So what value I need to write it? I will say learning technologies. I'm just going to give the value over here as learning technologies. So this value, I'm going to give the value static value. I'm going to, it won't change over here, right? I'm just going to give in the double quotes. It is in string format. I have given it. Okay. Now write mode is there. If you see the write mode, another parameter, if you see there's a lot of options over there. One is on specified cell or currently active cell. So if you're going to specify on specified cell, what will happen? It will ask for the column and the row. And you can see over here, which column you want to add and what is the row number that you are going to give it. So I'm going to give the def uh, value as A and the row number is one. So I don't have any columns over here in the sense, I'm not going to be in the, my worksheet. I'm not going to define any columns. I'm just directly going ahead and going to be giving the values over here. 
when you are going to select on currently active cell then what will happen what are the active cell we are going to be mentioning as part of dynamically that the cell values will get it over here and the same values you are going to be mentioning over there so that you don't specify any kind of columns and rows over here if you see i'm going to select once again on specified cell there you are having column and row but whereas when i'm going to select on currently active cell i don't find the rows and columns values over there for the time being what i'm going to do i'm going to statically giving the values over here so that i will specify on specified cell and then i'm going to give the column as a and the row as one now i'm going to give writing the value with the value what is the value i am writing learning technologies and then i'm going to click on save as the first step we launched an excel and the second step we have writing the data into the excel by using write to excel worksheet action now our flow is almost complete now what we have to do we have to close our excel right what is the action that we are going to use that is close excel that i'm going to drag and drop onto my workspace now if you see the default excel instance is that is the same instance which we have used for the launch excel or which we have stored in the launch excel and i'm going to before going to closing this excel that what i have to do i want to save it or not uh, i want to save the document what are the document we have now i'm going to click on save now our flow is ready now let me go ahead let me save this flow by clicking on control s from my keyboard and the pop up came like you know flow excel automation hyphen 2 saved successfully let me click on okay now before going to run this flow what i have done is i have kept side by side these two windows one is my power automate desktop another one is the documents folder which i am having on my local now let me go ahead let me run the flow by clicking on run now if you see the flow has been executed started now launch excel if you see over here it has been started and if you see over here book 1 has been created successfully now let me open this book 1 excel and there you will find the value with the double quotes learning technologies i hope you understand how to write the data into the excel by using write to excel worksheet action all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to give you some more features like over here if i want to write the data dynamically or from the input dialog box how can i go ahead and write the data into the excel for that one what i'm going to do i'm going to do a small changes over here uh, in my flow i'm going to search for the action input dialog from the actions i have typed input dialog now if you see i am having the message box over here under message boxes you are having display into dialog let me drag and drop this action before launch excel okay now if you see it is asking for the input dialog title so i am going to say please enter details i am just going to take this value and i am there in the dialog box also i am going to give it the same messages over here and whatever the value you are going to give it in the input type if you see there are having a lot of things like single line password multi line these are all the input types which i am having right so that i am going to select right now single line if you are going to give the value over there that value i am going to store it in two variables that has been produced one is user input another one is button press so the first one is the user input nothing but what are the values you are going to give in the particular dialog box that values will be stored in this variable whereas button press is nothing but if you have yes or no like that then if you want to click on okay or what are the values that you are going to save when you have clicked on the button press this values will be stored under the variable of button press now i am having only okay as of now the default value and i am not going to give any default value over here so that it will saves the values user input values in the user input variable button what are the pressed button values it will be stored in the button press all right now let me go ahead let me save this uh, save this action now if you see the order has been changed first one is the display input dialog second one is the launch third one is the write to excel worksheet over here i am going to edit the action over here by clicking on the three dots over here i'm going to click on three dots and i'm going to select edit action now if you see the value what are the value 
I have given in this write to Excel sheet, I have given static value. But right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to make it dynamically and whatever the value is coming from this display input dialog, that value I'm going to store in my Excel. So if you see value to write, what is the value that I have to write? Whatever the user input has been given that value, I'm going to write it in my Excel. So how can I get it? Click on the function over here and then you will get user input over here. Click on that. You can see the type value, text value that I'm having. So let me select that and then let me save the flow once. Let me save the action by clicking on save. Now, now let me run the flow once again. The flow has been started and it is asking, please enter the details. I'm just going to give my name over here, Amir, and then I'm going to click on OK. The flow execution has been started for the launch Excel. And then you can see over here under the taskbar, you will get the Excel. And then the Excel has been closed once you have written the data into the Excel worksheet. Now let me go back to my documents and open the book1.excel file. And if you see over here, whatever the name I have given in the text box or the dialog box that the same name is reflecting over here under the A, column A and the row number one. This is how we are going to work with write to Excel worksheet activity as part of this module. Thank you for watching Microsoft Power Automate desktop tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment session. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a nice day.